Miko, this is my video. You can be in it, but you can't hog the whole screen, okay? You want one of these? All right, you'll be good. Hello, my name is Kate and welcome to Habits of a Modern Hippie. All right, girls, you wanna come up and say hi? It's as soon as I turn on the camera, both of these ding bats. Tink, you wanna come say hi too? As soon as I turn on the camera, the dogs are like, oh wait, it's my turn. Can you get down now? Hi, sweet girls. All right, down. This isn't for you. Yeah, so not a pup video today, but I thought it would be fun because I am super nosy to do a what's in my bag. It has recently turned into nice warm weather here in Denver. So instead of my giant bag that I carry around in the winter so I can have like a hat and gloves and whatnot in there, I transition into a smaller bag. I just got this one from Michael Kors. I love it, it's a really good size. I wanted a crossbody bag that I could chuck on, but that would actually still hold some stuff. So if I can find the exact bag, I'll link it down below. But with a little spin on a what's in my bag, a lot of the stuff in, in here is for anxiety. Um, I'm a super anxious person. I've had anxiety and panic attacks my entire life. So we'll kind of do it a little bit healthy living. I've been using this bag for maybe about a month-ish so far. So there's probably some interesting things in here, but as you can see, it is packed. And let's just go ahead and dive in and see what's in here. All right, first, normally my phone is in there. Oh, and I've got a bunch of notifications going on right now. Hello, mom. Now, normally my phone is in the bag. You can see my pups on there, at least one of them. But I'm going to use it to film a few of the close-ups as well because I love this phone. So that's not actually in here today, but we'll go ahead and start out with the big pocket. Of course, keys. I think I've had the same key ring since I was in high school, so I don't think I've taken any of these off. So you can tell all the different places I've lived because there's grocery stores from everywhere. Everything from like ShopRite and Stop and Shop to... King Supers, which is out here. Um, but yes, and of course, like a Petco and all of that. One thing that always makes me laugh, because people look at me like, why on earth do you have a tape measure on your keys? The number of times that I use this is insane. It was a couple dollars from Home Depot. One, I bought a house last year, so I use this way more often than anyone else should actually. And then, of course, We've got my little Boston College keychain on. Got to show some school pride. Next, we have some organic made in nature banana slices. These are amazing. I actually did an event with made in nature in Sprouts Farmer's Market, which is a really, if you haven't heard of it, is a really awesome um, grocery store that I love going to. But made in nature is so good. Everything's organic, non-GMO. Um, I always have snacks in my bag. I bet you there's more than just this one. Yep, and we've got coconut chips with toasted cinnamon as well, but I always have snacks in my bag. I'm one of those people that as soon as I start getting hungry, I go full on hangry. Like you do not want to see me hungry. It's not okay. So I always have little snacks like this in bag and because they're from made nature, you know, they're good for you. There's a really great amount in here. Um, so you can get a snack without like completely ruining your dinner because Lord knows I do that all the time. But yes, so those are yummy. And then uh, of course I can't just have human food. Next, I there's about half a bag of the I End Love In You dog treats in here. Oh my goodness, I wish you could see them. Actually, I am going to go ahead and film them. Do you want some of these? Yeah, here. The girls are being very good. One-handed opening. Uh-uh, you go back up and sit down. Back up, back up. All right, here you go, Tinker. That was a great catch. Meek, you want one? Come on. Good girl. All right, go sit down so I can finish. Go on. So these are the dog's favorite treats. They're the chicken and salmon recipe. They have, they're grain-free. They have really good ingredients. Um, and I feed my dogs this food brand as well. All right, so 
food for me, food for puppies, and sticking in that main pocket. Huh, go figure, more food, except for this is chocolate. This is Good Day Chocolate, and this is the Calm Supplement. So these have a really good ingredient list. There are about eight chocolates in each one, and four is a serving. At least I think four is a serving. That's what I take. Two is a serving. Four is feeling fine. But they have magnesium and chamomile in them, which are both super calming. So this is a great one to take if you're feeling a little anxious. Sticking with that, we've got two pens, of course. A wine cork from 1994. Oh, this is, I went to high tea at the Brown Palace in Denver, and this was from one of the wine bottles they brought out for us. And next, this is my savior. They make it both for humans and for dogs, but it is Rescue Remedy Spray from Bach. It is a homeopathic chock full of a bunch of different herbs. I'll link to them down below and you can see like the whole list. But this is one of those things when I can feel a panic attack coming on, I give myself a couple squirts on the tongue. Tastes horrible, it's in alcohol to preserve all the herbs in there, but is a really great way to calm you down. Then last thing in the big pocket, we've got one, two hair ties and three bobby pins. Then there are two more pockets in here. I don't know if you can see, but we've got one open pocket on the side and then one zippered pocket. So my wallet, you can't see my license because you don't need to know where I live, but credit cards. Um, I have my passport card in here as well. And then what are you? we have got about $30 to Costco as my buyback, which I love Costco. It is one of my favorite places. It has so much organic food. And apparently I have cash, which is very rare. Oh, it's, it's a grand total of a dollar and 30 cents. We're rich. And then these are my business cards. I always have some of them on me. Um, you can see it's my logo that's on the top of the banner somewhere up here. And then the zippered pocket. All right, more fun stuff. A pad, because you always need one, just in case. Got a couple of Band-Aids. This is my brand, it's the Spiral Collective. It is based in herbalism. And this is actually the all-purpose salve, which is like Neosporin-esque on crack. <laughs> it is super, super moisturizing and it has like every like antiviral, antimicrobial, antibacterial. Um, pretty much anything that you get like cuts, scrapes, burns, etc. Or you just have super dry skin, you can use this for. I love that stuff. I always have some of my own product on me. And then we've got a whole handful of, well, one, got a little ring that my mama gave me. And of course, you cannot be a hippie without carrying a few stones. I have two pieces, uh, pieces, pieces of tumbled hematite. Hematite is a really grounding stone um, meant for the root chakra. Hematite comes from the word like blood, so really grounding. And I keep these in my pocket or I can rub them together when I'm feeling anxious as well. So those are always good to have. I have a fluorite worry stone. Fluorite in general is known for calming down frenetic energy. So that like crazy energy, it just calms that down a little bit. And this one actually has um, like a divot in it for your thumb to press. Kind of like nature's fidget spinner. I never got a fidget spinner, nor was I in school when those were popular, but I love carrying one of these in my bag or in my pocket, just super, super calming. All right, so that's everything from the inside of the bag, and there is just a little pocket on the outside, which generally speaking is just like random stuff, which is very appropriate here. We've got a $5 off my next purchase of $25 to Petco, because that happens often. We have a very long King Supers receipt. Now this is super fun. I was at a wedding this weekend and they had a photo booth. One of my favorite people in the world, Lena, who I've known since I was a freshman in high school, which is, gosh, 15 years ago now, which is insane. But she had a photo booth, so a bunch of our friends, all of those. So Lena married Mo. She is off in Italy right now and I am very jealous. And then last but not least, I have two random stamps. So that is everything that is in this bag. It is all empty. 
I would love to know what you guys have in your bag for your mental health, essentially, is we go through, we've got rescue remedy, we've got two different types of stones, we have the calm as well, so that is one, two, three, four different things for anxiety, because Lord knows I need it. But if you use anything for your mental health that you keep in your bag and absolutely necessary, let me know. And this little guy, which is kind of hard to see because it is so small that I just put down and totally forgot I brought out of my bag, is a little mini tester of lavender essential oil. So lavender, once again, super calming. I also use this. You can put it on the backs of your ears, on any of your pulse points. One thing about essential oil though is you are going to use it, make sure that you're not super sensitive to it. Um, you can dilute a little bit of essential oil into like a sweet almond oil or a coconut oil and use that instead of the straight up essential oil because some people are sensitive to get burns. But I can handle lavender, so I have just a little mini version of that in here as well. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. You'll see more of me. And these little goobers, you want to come say bye? And more of these little goobers. Where's the Tinkerbell? <laughs> so click that subscribe button down below, and we will see you again soon. Bye.